Okay, good evening and welcome to Portugal's post-match press conference, joined by coach Patrice Lagisque and to his left, captain Tomás Appleton. Um, Patrice, your thoughts on the game? Would you like to give your thoughts on today's game? En fait, je suis je suis frustré. Actually, I'm frustrated because we gave them a few gifts in the first half and we didn't play rugby the way we used to. And 14-3 at half time was a bit heavy given what we'd uh, produced. And then in the second half, we showed a bit of face, but we were lacking in a little bit of luck, uh, especially in our uh, kicking game to keep uh, close to them in terms of the score and uh, give uh, this uh, Welsh team even more trouble. Thank you. If we could have the first question, just raise your hand. Yeah, here in the front row. And then the second question will be second row. You talked about pride and to leave such a game frustrated. What does that show for you? Well, pride, of course, but we knew we would not be disappointing. We are. This is a generous team. Ever since I've started coaching them, they've been surprising me with their commitment, with their will and their talent as well, because they produce really good stuff. But it's true that uh, there is uh, frustration alongside this because I felt that this uh, team didn't give it uh, full. We committed a few mistakes in terms of decisions. Uh, and we had Anthony Alves who kicked that unlikely kick. Uh, for example, this is a little bit difficult. Uh, so, uh, also, the decision to take a scrum at the end of the first half when the, uh, the ref had already decided that we were uh, not respecting the rules and we'd already been sanctioned in scrums and uh, our line-outs were working well, so we got uh, punished. So that's a bit disappointing. But this is a team that has a lot of virtues. Rana from the keep, were you surprised to be that close to the Welsh team? And what did you think of the Welsh team? Well, to be surprised to be that close to them, no, honestly, because we hope to be even closer to them in terms of school. Uh, if Samuel hadn't had that uh, troublesome calf, things might have been different. We hit the post twice and uh, a penalty that went uh, slightly wide. Uh, so you, we caught ourselves dreaming. It could have been 21-15 and then you can dream. Uh, our hopes uh, might have uh, stayed alive for all of the 80 minutes. But no, the, the Welsh team, with, we can feel that it's not totally confident yet, but they are quite rigorous in their game and they're powerful. And after a while, you, 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 the, 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 you're almost at breaking point. We got close to breaking point, but we managed to come back each time and uh, win the ball back. But yes, if uh, we could get confidence, but they, 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 they had uh, switched to quite a lot of players over after Fiji and Australia because they didn't have uh, much choice in the matter. But uh, they, they are a, a solid team at this level for a nation like uh, Portugal here at this World Cup to be able to say that we've uh, bothered Wales is uh, quite a good thing to be able to say. Next question, please. Questions can be asked in English, Portuguese or French. Just wait for the, port uh, for the microphone, please, for the translation. <coughs> Guillaume Dufy from l'équipe. There's a lot of uh, misunderstandings or lack of understanding of the refereeing since the uh, start of the competition. Can you understand how the yellow card was changed into red at the end of the game? The player was in the game, in the air, and players are coming into him and he's not allowed to be touched in the air. Uh, when you look at it, he's turning round in the air, he's lost his balance in the air, he could really hurt himself. 
because when he uh, hits other player with, with, with his leg, he's, he's not far from falling on his head or his neck, so he could really have hurt himself. So to be able to red card him for that, that bothers me a bit. Uh, the TMO also had to insist when there were uh, actions and clear ob obstructions. I was very annoyed by what happened at the end. A, 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 on the touchline for us to be able to change our right our, 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 our tight head prop prop uh, but it's unacceptable it's impossible for me I shouldn't have to start screaming like that but I will check that final action but I think there was an obstruction from the Welsh 21 on our 21 uh, and that enabled them to go without a defender uh, in front of them so that so that would have deserved at least a uh, a TMO uh, decision. But it's true, when we think of other situations, uh, indeed, uh, we, we, we were asking ourselves quite a few questions. You also talked about your frustrations. Weren't your players a bit naive in the uh, decisive areas? Um, yes, of course. It's something I regret. It's frustrating. We played well, but we didn't win what we had to in the right zones. And that's something I regret. And that's why I regret not having Jose Madeira in this game, because he's, he's, he's our line-out man. And that sometimes I felt that we weren't... Uh, we didn't have enough experienced players to uh, master these aspects in the midfield. All teams have got players injured and uh, injuries, but we're not doing too badly out of it, I suppose. Uh, we lacked a bit of uh, clarity on a few actions. When we managed to break through, we didn't manage to finish. Uh, and that, you know, we've repeated it enough times, we need to be patient, but our, our player's strength is their enthusiasm. But it's also, in a sense, their weakness, and it's our weakness because I'm part of this group. Uh, and it's true, it's still one of our fragilities, and that's where we need to grow. From Patrice, you talked about your frustration, but still, after so many years without the World Cup or, or a return to the World Cup, there was a good atmosphere in the stadium. Uh, are you still smiling? Well, the atmosphere was fantastic. Taking part in this World Cup with this group is a fantastic experience for me. I'm taking a lot of pleasure in it. I'm very proud of their behavior. There's no concerns here. But straight after the game, I always react. And I will continue to react on the points that didn't work, because that's my job. That's my role somewhere. But of course, I want to congratulate them for their behavior on the field. There's no doubt about that. When you can bother a team such as Wales, and when you have a chance like this, we, of course, you have to try to go a little bit further. I know they have the potential to, to, to give a little bit more, a little bit better. A question for you, Tomas. Do you share the same feelings as your coach? Can you talk to us about the atmosphere? We heard the Portuguese supporters, the Portuguese fans, a lot tonight. English or Portuguese? Uh, yeah, of course I share the, the thoughts of, of Patrice. Uh, in the end of the day, we're frustrated. Uh, we really wanted to, to win this game. Uh, we really worked hard uh, for that. But in the, in the end of the day, we didn't perform. We lost many, many of the areas of the game. We, we didn't have a solid scrum. Uh, we did too many mistakes in the backs. Um, and in the end of the day, when, we, when we're playing at this level, uh, we get penalized and we suffer uh, with those mistakes. Uh, it, it's a problem for us. We, we couldn't quite show uh, the rugby that we have, uh, the rugby, the, the good level of rugby and fast rugby uh, that we can play. And in the end of the day, we, we're frustrated. We, we're not here to, we're not here to, to just be a presence in the World Cup. We're here to compete and we're here to, to win. Uh, and today we're frustrated, of course. Francisco Isaac, Rebe Europe. Tomás, 
uh, I know you wanted to win. I know we talked a bit about it uh, the last two weeks. But you are still a very proud team for what you've done today because no one ever thought that Portugal will come to the last moment of the game to snatch a bonus point defeat. So I ask you, what, should, what missed in this last pass, the last moment that in the last three years you scored so many tries in the last 22 meters? So what, in your opinion, could we have done better? <clears throat> Special, I think we, we talked about it a lot. I think we let the emotions look a bit... A bit care of us it's when when we're playing at this level we have to be, have to be cold headed uh, and i think a lot of times we weren't uh, we made bad decisions we need to we, we really need to need to adapt we were thinking that uh, wales will, would go we would put a, put a lot of pressure uh, in our backs and to be honest on the defense they were controlling a lot because probably they know we're fast uh, and we can play from edge to edge uh, really fast and we need to adapt uh, sooner Especially, I think we need to we need to grow a lot as a team on that. But we have three more games to play. Any final questions? Head coach, uh, thank you for today. Uh, I was in the stands, and everybody was saying Portugal is a physical team. At every tackle, at every breakdown fight, at every carry, Portugal through Wales back or snatched the ball. People were wondering how they came to this. Can, to, can you explain how Portugal in the last three months turned to be a team so physical that the Welsh were at some point lost in the pitch? You, you know, half of the group is uh, amateur. And uh, I, I answer in English. <laughs> Uh, no, but I keep I can keep playing, uh, speaking in English, no problem. Um, and uh, we we started to um, to work very hard uh, the 26th of June, and uh, the goal was to help them to be more physical, to be stronger, uh, faster, and uh, and they've done. Uh, the, the, the staff and the players have done a fantastic job. They, they were really ambitious the way they were training and they're very committed and uh, that's why they can be proud of uh, what, they, what they show. Even if they, they, they didn't control the, the, the game the way they would like or the way I, I would like also. The way we, because we share our intentions but, uh, but they, they really deserve to what they, their performance because they have worked very hard, very hard, believe me. For amateur players, you, you could see today that they, that they wanted to compete physically. Okay, thank you very much, Tomas, Patrice. The Welsh press conference will begin, begin shortly.